In this problem, the probability of winning a game at any one time is 0.3. Ada plays the game until she wins once. She does this every day for a fortnight. Find the probability that it takes at most five tries to win the game on at least 10 of the 14 days. Okay, so there's a lot of numbers being thrown around in this problem. First of all, you should identify that there is a geometric distribution going on. The fact that it's telling you the probability of winning a game at any one time is 0.3 and she's playing the game until she wins once. Okay, that's a geometric distribution there. Okay, so find the probability that it takes at most five tries to win the game. Right, just think about that stage there. So we're going to start off with it being a geometric distribution with a probability of success of 0.3. Find the probability that it takes at most five tries to win the game. At most five. So x is less than or equal to five. Now we know we can work that out by doing one take away the probability of x being greater than five. Now, of course, you can work out that probability directly if you've got um, the number works calculator, for example. Then this is going to be one take away. Now, the probability of x being greater than five means that she loses the first five games. So that would be 0 0.7 to the power of five. Okay. So 1, take away 0.7 to the power of 5, and that's 0.83193. Now, find the probability that it takes at most five tries, sorry, five tries to win the game on at least 10 of the 14 days. So each day will be independent of the next because we know the trials are going to be independent anyway, because we're working with geometric distribution. Um, so now it becomes a binomial distribution, where we've got 14 days. It's being played for a fortnight, so there are 14 trials. The probability of success, the probability that it takes at most five tries to win the game, and we've just worked out, it's 0.83193. And I want to work out the probability that she does this on at least 10 of the days. So at least 10, so greater than or equal to 10. Now, I could work that out uh, directly um, if I've got a calculator that can do it. I'm using the class whiz. So I've got to do one take away the probability of y being less than or equal to 9. So go to number seven, menu number seven distribution, uh, binomial CD, go to variable, x is nine, n is 14, the probability of success is 0 0.83193. So I get 0 0.0710952888. So that's 0. 9289049 etc so 0 0.9289 to four decimal places and that solves the problem